Are you new to Builder All and need to know how to set up a webinar? Have you ever set up a webinar? I'm going to show you an easy way to set up a webinar using the Builder All platform, and I'm going to do it all in today's video. So stay tuned. All right, so today we're going to show you how to set up a webinar using the Builderall marketing platform. All right, but before we get started, if you're new to my channel, my name is Zeb Summers. I talk about how to make money online, internet affiliate digital marketing, and I'm here to help you through the journey to get to a laptop lifestyle so you can get some freedom in your life. Now, if you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the little notification bell to get notified every day when I put out one of these videos. And also hit that like button if you find this content is of value to you. Now, give me a comment. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like to see in the future. And if you have any questions, post them below in the comments and I will reply. All right, guys. So let's get started with today's video on how to set up a webinar in Builderall. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this platform in a few minutes. All right. So it only takes a few minutes to do this. And once you get it set up, you can set it up for an auto. You can set it up for so many different things. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So let's run over here to Builderall. So we're going to Builderall back office. And when you're over in the Builderall back office, you want to select this little icon here. It's going to bring up this menu and you're going to select webinar. It's going to bring you to this page here. This shows you where all your webinars are. This is my one webinar. Now I'm going to create a new webinar. I'm going to give you step by step of how you actually do it so you can learn how to do it and set up your own builder all and I mean own webinar through builder all and I'm going to even show you how to set up the the sales funnel that you need to promote for your webinar and link it to mailing boss which is their autoresponder and this can all be done within the builder all platform at no extra cost to the 49.90 that you're already paying all right so let's go over here and click on new webinar we're going to name the webinar uh, I'm just going to name it webinar training because I'm just doing this today. All right. Webinar training. You can protect it with a password if you like. That's personal preference. So as soon as it's created, we're going to come to this window. All right. This is going to be the live link, the recorded link. This is going to be your email signature. Um, you can protect it with a password. You can do your date format. All right. We're going to leave this like it is. Content. Now, this is the where you want to select the different types of webinars that you're going to do. You want to do a live webinar. You want to do a pre-recorded or a live webinar using YouTube. Do you want to use a live webinar using the webinar platform, using the webinar servers? Do you want to upload it from your computer, a already pre-recorded video, or record it with a webcam? All right. So, or you can use pre-recorded webinars that you already did. All right. So you're going to select which one you want to do. And I'm going to do live builder all just as the selection. And it says here recording will be available in a few minutes after it's stop clicked. All right. So we want to record it. And this is your streaming tool. All right. You're going to hit schedule. You can schedule it for how many minutes you want and put it you know, start by a button, start by a certain time, or on demand. On demand is probably the best. That way you can start it when you when you want to, all right? Uh, if you want to do it at a certain time, say you're doing webinars, when in your sign-up form it says, you know, you got four different selections. You can select Sunday at 5 p.m., Sunday at 10 p.m., or, or, or whatever it is. You can select that exact time, and it's going to launch, and it's going to wait for you to start up, all right, if you're doing a live now, if you're not doing it live, you can schedule it and it'll just launch the pre-recorded one. All right. So when you do launch a pre-recorded one, you can enable your chat. Now, you want pre-moderation. You want to save history. You want this shows you the chat chat window size, and this is the mass messages uh, that is allowed in your chat. All right. So this is another cool feature, and it's called ghost users and this is what you see when you go to a webinar and you see people chatting and this and they may not even be in the webinar it's just people chatting back and forth and you could say what they're actually saying and you can have that all tracked 
while you're doing your live webinar. So you can have people coming in periodically and saying answers and just keep it going like that. All right. So that's a cool feature. And I would highly recommend you use this because if you have a webinar and there's only five people on it, you can actually make it look like there's 200 people on it. All right. So you got some statistics. So this is where you come and you see like, you know, what you want to actually see. You want people attended, people not attended, people that left before ending. It shows you all this stuff, right? How much did you pay for your visitors? How much on average sale? You can you get all this information through your statistics. You can set up your mailing balls. You can use mailing balls tracking and you can do translation. All right. So you can do translation through this. So this what this is is common words that you may see through your webinar that you can translate into other languages. All right. I don't know if you want to use that or not. I probably wouldn't because I'm targeting people that are English speaking. All right. So that's the webinar setup. All right. So then we go over here to webinar and we hit edit. Not edit. What I want. We want this guy. Okay, so we want to hit this code and we want the ID and we're going to put this in Notepad. So I want to copy this out into a Notepad, all right? So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to copy the secret into a Notepad, all right? So once we copy that out, we're going to close this screen and we're going to run over to our website. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go to builders, we're going to go drag and drop pixel perfect, and we want to go to new website, all right? And that's going to take you to this page here, your new websites, all right? And we're going to scroll down so we see a webinar sales funnel, because that's what we want. We want a webinar funnel. We're going to click edit here, and we're going to come to this screen right here, all right? So once we get to this screen, we can, of course, you're going to want to to edit this to be however you want and you want it to be uh, tailored to what your webinar is talking about all right so it's already pre-set up of course you got to edit this to make sure it's branded to you and to your webinar and what it's about all right but in order to get the webinar in your uh, uh, in your building to your sales funnel you're going to want to set up webinar broadcast all right you want to go to the webinar broadcast page and it's this page right here, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to actually go to add. And then we're going to go to apps. And then we're going to go to webinar. And we got this guy going here. We want to make this a little bigger because, of course, we have to <clears throat> bring this down a little bit. And this just takes a little tweeting, tweaking, all right? So here's your webinar window. We're just going to right-click. We're going to go to Edit. We're going to add in this ID and stuff that we created earlier. So there's the key, and here's the ID. Oops, where'd that window go here? ID, for some reason I keep losing this window. <laughs> this is what you get for when you, when you do things ad hoc in the middle of, all right, so I got the ID memorized, 8915, and we just wanna hit confirm, all right? so. What happened is I put the webinar screen in here. You got your chat and all that fun stuff. And this is what you see on your screen. Now, when the, the webinar goes live, of course, it'll, it'll jump off. We want to hit save. We want to save this website as web training or something like that. All right. So once we set it up, we just save it to our page. And this is where we're going to use to launch our webinar. All right, so we've got a sales funnel set up and it's going to be used for our webinar. All right, 
So the next thing we want to do is we want to go back to this page, our registration page. Maybe I should have did this first, but what we want to do is we want to set up our web, our uh, mailing boss, which is our autoresponder. And that's pretty easy. We just go to mailing boss and we're, we're looking for, you know, uh, if you have a list already pre-built, I already had a pre-built list. So you go into mailing boss, you create a list. I got a video on how to set up mailing boss. I'll put that at the link in the back of this description of this video. And you can go to that video and actually see how to set up mailing boss to set up your free, uh, your account in that and set up a, a email list so you can start sending out auto populated emails. So once you set that up, you want to save that again, right? You want to hit save. And now you have your funnel built. When people enter their name, their email, they're going to get sent to your autoresponder and they're going to get a link to the description. All right. They're going to get taken to this page and they're going to get a link in their email that says, hey, you signed up for the webinar, confirm to save this date, add it to your calendar or whatever it is. And then this page here will actually be a picture, a video of you saying, hey, thanks for signing up for the webinar. Look forward. This is going to be a fun time. It's going to give you some free training, blah, 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 blah. And it's at this time and date. Check your email. Make sure you save a a calendar notice so you don't miss the webinar all right so this is the webinar setup all right so you set up a webinar you set up the sales funnel and you set up your uh your email autoresponder so you set out a couple emails so you so you set up some reminders and etc about the webinar all right so I hope this was helpful if it was hit give me a like guys give me some comments let me know what you like what you don't like like to see in the future let me know if you like this video Hit subscribe and hit some notification, the notification bell so you get notified about these daily videos. All right. Again, I hope you got some value out of this. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you tomorrow on the next video. This was easy. I hopefully hopefully you learned something and you'll do your first webinar using Builderall. All right, guys. Peace out, and I'll see you again tomorrow on to the next video.